this is Mr. Mackerel presenting to you a grammar tutorial on run-on sentences. Uh, what we'll highlight in this uh, presentation are three different types of run-on sentences that you may come across and the various ways to fix them. Uh, the first of these is uh, when an independent clause gives an order or directive based on what was said in the prior independent clause. So this is a sentence that is, isn't an error, sad face. Uh, the reason for that being is it kind of breaks this rule up here, or it follows this, this, this guideline to a poor run-on sentence. Uh, this next chapter has a lot of difficult information in it. You should start studying it right away. So this is your independent clause that we're talking about when we talk about the independent clause that gives order or directive based upon what was said in the prior independent clause. So the prior independent clause is the next chapter has a lot of difficulty. So this, you should start, gives directive or gives information about this previous independent clause. So the suggestion is when you come across a situation like that, don't use a comma. Uh, you can either put a period where the comma is uh, and start a new sentence, or you can use a semicolon and uh, that might also work there as well. That's probably the easiest way to go. Uh, but we'll show you both. And let's just select the felt tip pen here. Red looks like a nice color. And we'll pretend we're on the Promethean board writing in perfect penmanship and uh, giving you an example of one type of sentence. Da -da -da -da, studying right away with a little period at the end. Uh, and the same version again. Chapter has a lot of difficult information in it semicolon uh, you should start studying da 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 right away okay uh, that's the first type the second type are when two independent clauses are connected by a transitional expression uh, the transitional expression we're talking about here is called the conjunctive adverb uh, some examples would be however moreover and nevertheless okay uh, in this example, this is the bad sentence, uh, Mr. Nugent has sent four children to Ivy League colleges. However, he has sacrificed his health working day and night in that dusty bakery. Okay, so here is your conjunctive adverb connecting both of those independent clauses. The first independent clause being Mr. Nugent has sent his four children to Ivy League college. Uh, the second, basically the second half of that sentence. Um, so again, the recommendation on this is, is not to separate it with this conjunctive adverb, even though sometimes those can be used. Uh, this is uh, when you're, when you're uh, combining two independent clauses, a bad idea. So again, uh, similar to the first one, uh, where that comma appears, where that first comma appears, uh, you could have used either a period, uh, started a new sentence, or you could use a semicolon instead. So again, here is our corrected version of the sentence. You can tell the bells are just rung. Da, da, da. Maybe put some music in the background. That would be cool. Um, and then here would be the second version if you need to do it. Uh, but I think it's pretty obvious. You just dump a semicolon in there somewhere, and you should be just fine. All right? Uh, so lastly, uh, we have a sentence where uh, the second of two independent clauses, as it states above, uh, contains a pronoun that connects it to the first independent clause. Uh, in this case, you can't just separate that with a comma. You have to do a little bit more than that. Uh, so in the sentence, the computer makes sense, uh, to, sense to me, it came without a manual. Well, the it refers back to the computer. Not good. We can't separate with that with just a simple comma. We have to do a little bit more than that. Uh, so to fix that, again, just as the first two examples, uh, and this is pretty much a nice little catch-all on any run-on sentences, you know, break it up. Break it up. Uh, just make sure you're splitting it up into two independent clauses, not an independent and a dependent, because that dependent clause might show up as a fragment. Um, so those, these two clauses are quite brief. Uh, the ideas are closely related, and it turns into a run-on sentence. So uh, we need a period uh, where that comma now stands. So basically, we're just going to rewrite this. This computer doesn't make sense to me, period. And the second thing you could say, it came without a mandal, manual, or, you know, you could maybe even elaborate on that sentence just to make it a little bit more robust. Uh, so that's pretty much it. Uh, just one last thing before we uh, let you go here. Uh, any of the information that was provided here uh, was taken from the website called A Guide to Grammar and Writing. Uh, the URL is here at the bottom. Um, again, my name is Rich Mackerel, and uh, good luck and happy writing.